Well, today marks 30 days until Christmas morning, so we're asking, are you prepared? You ready for it yet? It'll come quickly, I think. <laughs> Stores, <always> though, <laughs> are definitely ready. Considering a late Thanksgiving this year will push back Black Friday nearly a week this year. Black Friday, of course, the day when the stores traditionally go from in the red for the year, losing money to into the black, making money. NBC 26's Eric Crest has more on how shoppers and those stores are getting ready. This is the calm before the storm in downtown Green Bay. The brief moment just before the holiday when most shoppers aren't racing against the clock yet, which is especially true for Pierre Ashley. I actually only headed the curve, man. You know, that's the way to go. You know, these crowds, they get crazy. It can be vicious. So I just went on ahead and started crossing off my lift early. I got about one or two presents left and I'll be done, man. But there are others, especially retailers, who are prepared too. At Furs and Clothing of a Distinction, they've been waiting for the holiday rush patiently. Holidays for every business are hopefully wonderful, of course. Especially considering that Thanksgiving comes six days later than it did last year. We did um, prepare ourselves a little bit earlier um, and did begin putting things out a little bit earlier than normal this year. Business manager Jill Munster says they expect the pace at her shop to pick up by this weekend and especially in the weeks that follow as the holiday shopping season turns into a get it done situation. Once we get past, you know, the second week in December, you definitely are, are getting to the point where your size may be gone or the colors you want or things of that nature may be gone. So if you have an item or a full list of presents to get yet, now might be the time. If I can get any advice, man, get it done early. <laughs> because the clock is ticking and Santa doesn't step it up just because you fell behind. And we all know what happens, you know, you end up giving out a $20, $25 gift card or something to Starbucks or something, you know. In downtown Green Bay, Eric Crest, NBC 26.